Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Chandra Awesome. In this today's video, I am going to explain about uh, about the sheet metals. As in the previous videos, I we are done with a, a single tutorial from the net what we had used there. But uh, I just explained only the limited tools which are required for the uh, make the pattern the sheet metal so today i'm going to explain the in detail about sheet metal model okay as for let me hide this uh, planes we don't need them so it will better use and you can observe the figure it is the same part what you had explained in the previous video extrusion okay so okay just now sell this sheet metal model so it is i'll explain you it has three sections so let's for today's let's discuss about conversion this conversion section is basically used for making the, any solid body into sheet metals or as well as it turns the surface salt into sheet metals so it's asking the parts so when it's doing one part the whole model turn into a sheet metal you can see the every phase will turn it turn it into a sheet metal so we don't need to perform right here this is the how we can make the body and it is asking and we have another option also to asking phases to extrude which means it is going to remove the phase which we don't want so let's for example uh, let's for example um, let's for example sell this phase I don't want this face to be here so when I clicking on this the face got disappeared which means it is permanently removed and it is another option without edges or cylinders to bend it asking which edges you want to be bent because the when you work with a sheet metal we are going to make the sheet into into the shape so we need bends for that so so we need to sell the edges where you want the bends as for example i'm going to sell here so when i set here the pen is formed and the and right here if you don't want you can you can also bend create the band here also like this you can increase the band add the bends to the sheet metal and here also you can add band see this is how does it works it is over constraint showing our consent but i will explain you that and let me add the band here also see in this way you can add the bands and it is asking the and we have clearance from input actually our input is a part right so it's asking uh, how much offset distance to be maintained from the original part so you can give the dimension how much you want here default as value I'm going to give increase to one shoe but it's not working why not it's working because of bands we are used let me show the original part this is the original part this is not working of band clearance so let's give the point values then also it's not working because of the shape of the figure okay so let me let's let hide it let me change this direction of extrusion edit this remove the direction and now click on ok now apply the sheet model again and set the faces which you don't want right like this and it just to be bent this edge this edge and this one but when i click on when i click on all edges it's showing over constraint because when you're working with the sheet metal it should be a continuous way it can't be closed then when you close it forcefully it will not act like a sheet metal if you didn't understand what i mean you can see the difference in the 
sheet metal table and flat view see you can see the flat view right here right so click on it the sheet metal model the flat model will show us here it is over constraint so let me deselect it there you can see see this is the flat view of the sheet metal we are working with here okay so this is the clearance you can now increase the clearance as you want so it will move from the original body so let me show the original body by keep input parts see so this is the mating in offset distance and it is we have another check option called include bands which means uh, it should be band it should be maintain the clearance from the bands also so right here it is sharp but it is a curved band so the difference may be changed so when it decel this it comes to near so when i click on include bands so it will maintain from the bands also with same clearance value okay and we have general in this general this is the uh, this thickness is about the sheet metal thickness by default is a one that q2 so the sheet metal thickness is going to be increased and the band radius what we have what the joint we use the band here so we're going to use it as a band radius you can give to one you can manipulate this also okay and we have flip direction this flip direction is used for in which way the sheet metal should be bent either uh, left side or right side so let me show the demonstration observe right here when i click on flip up direction the direction is changed you can clearly the band direction is changed when i click on this one the direction change see you can observe it clearly so that is the use of flip direction check mark and we have called materials these are the material factors guys i'm not much aware of the material factors but if you are aware of that you can maintain the values of the sheet metal part and another one we have relief this relief is uh, acts like a uh, gap between the bands as for example i will explain about the relief tool again this is mainly used for corners or when you work with the flanges okay so let me and we have got corner relief which means when you are mating the uh, sheet metals we have some corners but actually we don't have corners because we we added the continuous sheet metal when you work with the two sheet metals we can't see the corners because it is straight so if you want to uh, see the corners we need to select another uh, band as for example i'm going to select this edge so when i clicking on select edge this face is attached to it with a band and you can observe the band here see it is some like a cutter shape so this is I, because that is default is selected as closed and we have several type of corner types like square size square size it should be like like 3d model or else rectangle scaled or else a round size or else a round scale or else close or else simple simple minds just like a default value default corner type okay even you can also change the numerical gap this is the simple and we have another band relief type either it be tiered uh either it be up to up rounded so we you will observe it when you work with this uh and besides rectangle so it works with the rectangle only so in this way you can perform the leaves corners of the sheet metal of a 3d body so like this you can turn uh any of the 3d model part into a sheet metal 
okay, okay. That's all about today's topic, guys. I hope you might understand how to work with the sheet metals model in the conversion section. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, and please do like, share, and subscribe our channel. Thank you.